In this lesson, we are going to be talking about area of triangles and trapezoids. Before we do that, however, I want to talk to you guys about the area of a parallelogram again. If you guys know the area of a parallelogram, you would know that it's equal to base times height. Now, why am I introducing this equation in here? Because once you understand this, you will actually be able to understand the area of a triangle. A triangle is always half of a parallelogram. So if I asked you what the half of this was, I would just go ahead and do that. And now we actually have a triangle. And that's exactly what a triangle is. It's half of a parallelogram. So the area for a triangle is one half of base times height, which means that's a better way for you guys to understand it than trying to memorize a formula. Just know that it's half of the area of a parallelogram. So are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to do an example now that you know the area of a triangle is one half base times height? Let's see. Let's see if you guys at home can go ahead and do this now. Follow along. We have area equals one half base times height, right? So where's my base? Your base is always the bottom of the triangle, and we can see that that's seven inches. What's my height? Your height's going to be from the bottom and all the way to the top. That measurement from bottom to top. Let's plug it in. Seven inches times six inches. Hey, this is pretty fun, huh? Seven inches times six inches. I always recommend when finding the area of a triangle to go ahead and multiply your base times your height first. I know what you're saying, but Brian, order of operations says go from left to right, and you are correct. But the three operations we have here are multiplication. So we can go ahead and multiply these first and then divide it by two. It's much easier that way. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply six times seven, which would give me one half times 42 inches squared. Six times seven is 42, and inches times inches is inches squared. Now we can go ahead and divide that. You can do one of two things. You can actually multiply it. 1 half times 42 over 1. We can cross cancel, and that would be 21 over 1, or just 21. Or you can go ahead and take 42 and just put it over 2, which will give you 21 as well. Either way, they both work to know that our area is equal to 21 inches squared. 